Hi guys, welcome to my channel Teggy Ki Aarti. In the previous video, we have discussed code free ways to create database and tables. In this video, we are going to discuss MySQL code to create database and tables. So, let's discuss syntax. To create database, we use command create database and then we give the name of database. Let's create a database in MySQL. So here you can see we have already one database which is named database1. Now I am going to create another database named database2. So for that I will write the query create database and now I will get the name of database that is database2. Let's execute this query and here we should see another database named database2. Let me refresh this window. Here you can see another database which is named database2. We can also delete this database using the command drop instead of create. So here I am going to type in drop and this will delete this database too including all the tables. Right now I am not going to delete this database. So to delete database you need to use the command drop database and then write the name of that database you want to delete. In this database too we are going to create a table. Here I have a table named mark sheet. It's a school mark sheet. Here columns are given ID, name, mass, English, Hindi, SST, total, percentage, grade and GST. So to create table we use create table command and then we give the name of database in which we are going to create table and then we give the table name and then we have to write all the columns and their data types inside a bracket so let's create a table so to create a table we will write create now we have to give the location of that table so we are going to create this table inside database2. So we will write database2 dot table name which is mark sheet. Now inside the brackets we have to write down all the column names, their data types and data sizes. So first our columns are id, name, maths. You can see the data type of id is integers that is int. Data type of name is text or words which is called as where care or various character. So here we will give first column name which is id and its data type int that is integer and inside the bracket we will give the size of this column like uh, I am choosing 10 so it will not take any number more than the size of 10 digits and then I am going to make this id not null because id could not be null id is the identification of each student so it should not be not null next column was name its data type was where care and I am taking the size of 50 50 is enough for writing a name and this uh, column could be null so I am not writing uh, by default every column is null if you want any column to be not null you have to write that but if you don't write it by default it is null uh, so I am keeping it null by default next columns are math, English, Hindi, SST and they all have data types of integers even total has the data type of integers and I am going to keep the size 10 and they all are null and the setting for them would be null 
you need to separate each column by a comma so here i have typed already all the column names math english hindi sst their data types are int and size is 10 and each are separated by a comma next columns are percentage grade and gst percentage is a decimal data type and here we will use so data type will be decimal and inside the bracket we have to give the data size before decimal and after decimal so before decimal i am going to keep it 10 and after decimal i am going to keep it 2 next column was grade and its data type was varchar size 50 i will keep it null and next column was gst and here gst is also integer keeping the size of 10 so here we have all the columns listed with the data types and their sizes at the end you need to close the bracket or it will create an error when you execute the command so let's review it we used create table command and then gives it location that is database to dot table name and then inside the brackets we wrote all the column names with their data types and data sizes if we want to keep a column not null we have to write specifically there and then we separate all the columns with the comma let's execute this command it will create a mark sheet table inside database 2 here you can see we have a mark sheet table inside database 2 and we can see this mark sheet table like this click on here in this table sign so we have id name math english hindi sst total percentage grade and gst these are the columns now we have to insert values in these columns for that we will use insert into command and then give the location and table name and then we will write values command and inside that we have to write value of each column this is the syntax let's write query so it is insert into database to dot mark sheet in the next line we will write values inside the column we have to write all the values of first row make sure your number of values match with the number of column so we will start from 101 divisha 90 78 and then close the bracket we can also write second row here now separate with a comma and then start a new bracket and fill in all the values of second row so here after values we typed in two rows separated by comma inside a bracket let's execute this command this will fill up two rows of this table let's see the mark sheet here click on this table sign you can see two rows are filled up this way you can fill up the rows of table using mysql code in case you don't want to fill all the columns instead you want to fill only names and id of third and fourth row let me show you how we have to use the same command insert into and then we will give the location and mark sheet after this in the bracket we have to write the column names that we by default it takes all the column names if you are not writing column names then you have to fill up all the column values but if you want to fill up a specific columns then in that case you need to write the name of columns like i am filling these two columns only now give the values inside a bracket so i have given id value and then the name value that is vector and then the id and name for third and fourth row let's execute this command let's click on mark sheet and it has filled up third and fourth row of vector and crash i hope you have understood how to create a table and database and how to insert values inside a table in the next video we will learn how to auto increment this id column so we don't need to fill it up and it will increment it 
automatically and also how to set primary keys and foreign keys so keep watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye